That's like just barely pressing down on the, on the, on the strings, you know, to get the real percussive, funky sound. That was the original idea with the James Brown stuff. I guess was to make the guitar more like a percussion instrument rather than, rather than like a guitar. Um, so it's basically just, just, just not holding, just just barely, barely pressing down, kind of, leave, leave, making it so it just makes more of a percussive noise. So you just don't press down all the way. For me, that, that kind of playing has everything to do with just making sure that your that your right hand can just be really precise with stuff like that and just be really deep in the groove. It's kind of like the idea of when you subtract all that space that can go in between two things, like if you were to just play it like this, as opposed to it just it just it just creates this dimension to it because then you've got two you've got a high thing and a low thing and it's basically like two things rather than just playing a chord which makes it just like one thing. So so it was it was a good way to play acoustic guitar and to be able to kind of improvise with myself because I could kind of send my head in two directions at once, you know. Like an example of like improvising with that kind of thing, what you can get into like. sit there and have fun with yourself, kind of be the bass player and the guitar player at once, you know? Well, it's, you know, it's, you can't forget that it's all about playing music. It's not about what you can show people that you can do with a piece of wood in your hands that had strings on it. Like, the, the idea is to make sounds that are good. And in music, that's really so much about the relationships between the different things. So, like, for me, like if I'm sitting at home studying a particular guitar solo, it's not enough for me to just learn the solo. I have to make sure I understand the relationship between the notes that, 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 the, that the lead player is playing and the chords that are being played behind it or the bass line that's being played behind it. And, and I think that the fact that I, that I take that approach to it is, comes out a lot in my soloing because I'm, I'm often really absorbed in what the bass and the drums are, are doing. And, and, uh, and I'm really thinking about trying to create dimension and relationship to that. You know, I'm not, I'm not thinking in terms of, of just, oh good, they're giving me a blank canvas, now I can go crazy over it. Like it's, it's, it's more like constant interaction with, with, the, with the other people playing. And you know, it's, um, and, and I guess on this album, like it was really important to me to, to have a lot of, to do a lot of speeding up and slowing down. And a lot of people play, uh, a lot of people play sort of s straight up and down, and there's there's like an invisible like if a song's tempo is like this, there's like a sixteenth note grid that's invisible that, and usually like in general people play with a strict adherence to that, even if they're people who don't know anything about music. Sometimes, especially if they're people who don't know anything about the technical side of music, they stick to that thing like like they're in jail. You know, they don't. They, they don't go outside of it. They don't play slower than that. They don't play faster than that. They don't speed up and slow down. They, they, they play a series of notes 
all of which more or less fall into that uh, onto one of those sixteenth notes. They could be playing slow, but it's dun 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 you know. So yeah, so the the idea for me, like with with a lot of the playing that I did on this album, was to really like really go outside of that and to and to not pay any attention to that at all and. And even, even when I am playing things that are on time, as far as being 16th notes, I'll try to lay back on them or try to push forward on them. Just, and, and if I'm doubling a guitar, I don't try to double it exactly. I, I like to have, like, like on that thing on, on Danny California, where, where it's going. Uh, if you listen, the, the one on the right is playing, what, I think it's, one of them's playing right on time, and the and the other one is playing a laid back version of it, and they create a cool stereo effect like that. I just, I just didn't want to be straight in any way. So, so for me, like like my playing, I Chad and Flea did a lot of like experimentation with me in the studio, just sort of playing in a in a style where the guitar is more talking over the music, and it's finding a groove in it's finding its own groove in the music, other than what the bass and the drums are laying down, you know. <laughs> Like, like making it, making sure you're just stretching time out and 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 make you know making time go faster, making time go slower, just playing games with it all the time and just trying to like twist everything around and you know make just try to bend the fabric of reality because it's a lot you know it's 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 a lot easier to do with a guitar for me than it is with talking to somebody or you know.